नायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा धावर उत्तल गंगा बृंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उत्सल जल गंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे request you declare the 23rd annual
science, social sciences, medicine, engineering, law, life sciences, and design and education. You, the candidates whose names are set for degree. MBA, MHS, LLM, MPharm, MDS, MS, BA, BSc, BCom, M form MPS MFS BA BSC BCOM BCA BBA BTTM BFS BE BDS MBBS B form BAMS BHMS, LLB, LLB Honor, LLB, BGL, B Architecture, BED, BED Special, BPED, BFA, BPA, MPA, BSC in Nursing, PGDM, PG medical diplomas under the various faculties <laughs> of this university and in token thereof they have been awarded with the degrees and diplomas. under the faculties of languages and literature, social sciences, natural sciences, life sciences, and environment, commerce and management studies of the university. And in token thereof, they have been conferred Faculty of Languages and Literature Mr. Amrish Sina, PhD in Hindi
मिस स्नेह बहादुरिया पीएचडी इन हिंदी मिस प्रेमा एंजेला रोचा पीएचडी इन इंग्लिश मिस रेशमा तबस्सुम पीएचडी इन इंग्लिश Faculty of Social Sciences Ms Joanna Pereira Sociology Ms Reina Sequeira PhD in Sociology Ms Cristina Anand Maria de Souza PhD in economics Ms Ana Ruvina Ferrao y Fernandes PhD in economics Shri B P Sarath Chandran PhD in economics Faculty of Natural Sciences Ms Miskil S Naik PhD in physics This is Swati Rajiv Power PhD in physics Mr Ratan Malsika PhD in chemistry Mr Ashish R Naik PhD in chemistry Mr Vinod K Mandrekar PhD in chemistry Faculty of Life Sciences and Environment Mr Govind Parab PhD in Botany Ms Joshina R Naik Desai PhD in Botany Mr Mahesh B Kaliwal PhD in zoology Ms Priyadarshini Pujari PhD in zoology Ms Maria Celisa Santimono PhD in microbiology Ms Nimali Prabhu PhD in microbiology Ms 
Mr. Rajdeep Roy, PhD in Marine Science. Ms. Catherine Sumati Jebraj, PhD in Marine Science. Mr. Anup Kumar Tiwari, PhD in Marine Science. Ms. Sujata Kotarkar, PhD in Marine Science. Ms. Cheryl Fernandez, PhD in Marine Science. Faculty of Commerce, Mr. Anil Kumar Garak, PhD in Commerce. Mr. Suresh Shanbag, PhD in Commerce. Faculty of Management Studies, Mr. Christo Faustus Valentine Fernandez, PhD in Management Studies. Faculty of Languages and Literature, Raut Aparna Jairam, MES College of Arts and Commerce, Zuarinagar. Ms. Olivera Nafisa, St. Xavier's College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Mapsa. Ms. Bicholka Preeti Chandrasekhar, St. Xavier's College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Mapsa. Mr. Tulaska Pramod Vithal, Department of Hindi. Ms. Para Priyanka Prabhaka, Department of Konkani. Ms. Tari Tejeshri Tukaram, Department of Marathi. Mr. Alexandra Aponiorio Carvalho, Department of Portuguese. Faculty of Social Sciences, Gupta Kanchan of Dempe College of Arts and Science, Miramar.
Fernandez Alicia Lourdes of Carmel College of Arts and Science and Commerce for Women, Nuvem. Sinai Borkar Santosh of Srimati Parvati Bai Chogli College of Arts and Science, Margaon. Bilie Darshana Ulas of MES College of Arts and Commerce, Dwari Nagar. Ms. Datta Sumita, Department of Economics. Fernandes Venetia, Department of Sociology. Shilpa Singh of Department of Political Science. Joshi Poonam Madhukar of Department of Philosophy. Faculty of Natural Sciences, Lobo Jovan Zen, St. Xavier's College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Mapsa. Yadavade Rohini Sadashiv, P.S. College of Arts and Science, Farmagudi. Goekar Sweta Suryakant, P.S. College of Arts and Science, Farmagudi. Pilgankar Sonam Ramakant, Department of Chemistry. Cabral McNeil, Department of Earth Science. Dias Elaine Theodolinda, Department of Physics. Naik Gaurish Ashok, Department of Electronics. Yogita V. Gauss, Department of Computer Science and Technology. Faculty of Medicine, Minesis Valerie, Goa Medical College and Hospital, Bambolim. Jindal Dweep, Goa Medical College and Hospital, Bambolim. Shirodkar Diksha Gajanan, Goa Medical College and Hospital, Bambolim.
गंगोडकर स्मृति सतीश गोवा मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल बांबोली गांवकर राघोबा एलियास नवीन तुकाराम गोवा मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल बांबोली साईश वैकुंठ कामत गोवा मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल बांबोली कामत सौरभ मोहन गोवा डेंटल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल बांबोली नाईक मयुरी मोहन गोवा डेंटल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल बांबोली मिनेजिस मर्लीन गोवा डेंटल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल बांबोली मराठे अपर्णा पांडुरंग गोमंतक आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय एंड रिसर्च सेंटर सिरोडा नेत्रावलकर अनूप अजित श्री कामाक्षी देवी होमिओपैथिक मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल सिरोडा फोनसेका रोजलेट कार्मेला सुवर्णा श्री कामाक्षी देवी होमिओपैथिक मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल सिरोडा धोंड देविका गुरुदास गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी पणजी आंधे संयोगिता हिराजी गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी पणजी फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग रोहित कुमार गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग परमागुड़ी शेठ मराठे नेहा अवदूत गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फर्मागुड़ी माटे ऋषिकेश विद्याधर गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फर्मागुड़ी ब्रुटो डकोस्टा एंटोनियो एनेस्टिशियो गोवा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फर्मागुड़ी Faculty of Law, Fernandez, Caswin, V M Selgaonkar College of Law, Miramar, Panjim. De Silva, Andrew, John, V M Selgaonkar College of Law, Miramar, Panjim. Faculty of Life Sciences and Environment, Khan Samia Salim, Government College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Saint Kilim. Rodriguez Kim Maria, Department of Botany. Dikosta Stepney Etelweva, Department of Zoology.
Vadir Krishna, Department of Microbiology. Akshay Kumar Ganguly, Department of Biotechnology. Nasnodkar Maheshwar Ramakant, Department of Marine Science. Faculty of Commerce, Almeida Cotino, Marsha Giselle, Common College of Arts, Science and Commerce for Women, Nove. Bipari Jinnath, Sri Damodar College of Commerce and Economics, Margao. Kurpat Maitali Ramesh, Department of Commerce. Fernandez in Istria Durain, Department of Commerce. His Excellency. Dr. C.S.S. S. Sidhu, the Governor of Goa and Chancellor of Goa University, Honorable Chief Minister Sri Digambar Kamat, members of various university bodies, deans of the faculties, heads of the departments, faculty members, principals and teachers of affiliated colleges, recipients of various degrees, medals, prizes, proud parents, Distinguished citizens, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to welcome you all at this 23rd annual convocation of Goa University. Goa University constitutes an integral part of the academic and social as well as cultural fabric of the state and the people of Goa. It has been possible only due to the commendable academic efforts of all the faculty members as also numerous and relationships of a different kind amongst all the stakeholders such as students, faculty and non-teaching staff of the affiliated colleges, alumni and parents. Many who have contributed to the formation, growth and achievements of this very university are present right now in this hall as well. Today's function is a maiden event and you must be experiencing it in this newly erected Jubilee Hall of Goa University. Goa University has devoted and dedicated itself to realize the intellectual aspirations and socioeconomic needs of Goa. This university's performance trajectory benchmarks against the best as it is also striving to position itself as an institution at the vanguard of pioneering transformations in the domain of higher education and human resource development in the country. In the current era of dynamics in all paths of life, transformation and change are inevitable in every field. <coughs> Consequently, the time is ripe for comprehensive restructuring of the contemporary education as whole in the country. The crux lies in converting the challenges posed by the global reorganizations into empowering opportunities for creating proficiency and expertise, which will require us to move away from the parochial mindsets and watertight compartments. Goa government also has taken steps to formulate a new education policy which could become a guideline for the actions envisaged during the next 10 years period. Being a single university within the state, the Goa University looks forward to playing a lead role in this noble endeavor. Goa is suitably poised now to emerge as a vibrant educational hub due to complementary efforts of the government and the people of Goa together. On the academic front, keeping in stride with the national policy for higher education, Goa University has initiated choice-based credit system from the academic year 
in all the courses conducted on the campus of this university. This would enable removing the partitions and compartmentalization between different disciplines and subjects, allowing students to have a larger option in their choice of education. The university has also planned to initiate new and contemporary programs from the next academic year. They include a five-year integrated MSc Ocean Science and Technology course, which is being considered for its support by the Department of Earth Sciences, Government of India at the national level. A new MBA program involving hotel management and tourism and also a similar BBA course are proposed to be initiated from the next academic year as well. Curiosity and quest for the understanding have driven human beings to discover many wonderful things. It is virtually impossible, however, to exactly predict as to how today's basic research will eventually improve our quality of life or guess the new technologies or markets that may emerge. Along with the education, interactions and associations with various components of the society and corporate world are integral aspects of any good university system. It is equally important to develop partnerships between the universities on the one hand and industry and society on the other. In the days of consumer satisfaction and quality control, it is necessary to have involvement of multitude of stakeholders such as industries and society in management and administration of the university, apart from the role of the government itself. Naturally, therefore, a number of outreach programs have been executed and large number of new programs have been outlined by my colleagues at this university. We have Center of Excellence in Marine Microbiology through the Department of Earth Science and Government of India, and it is emphasized that a national nodal center for marine microbial culture collection will be established at Goa University soon. This will network with other centers and industries in the country. A tripartite program between Government of Goa, GSIA and the Goa University has been initiated this year, that is in 2010, by establishing a bio-incubator facility at the Goa University. This is expected to cater to the needs of entrepreneurs in small and large biotechnology and related industries in this state. The university has indeed a very close interaction with also GCCI. Accountability of the education system, however, does not confine itself to these commitments alone. Education in India has, over time, nurtured intellectual minds which, while contributing to the global economy and human capabilities, has also contributed significantly in sustaining the time-honored value systems unique to our civilization. My dear young graduates, please remember these values and social responsibilities as you enter the web of global competition and of course your personal progress. Thus with the com completion of the glorious 25 years, Goa University is now reorienting towards an approach which would empower the young generations to perform and excel in the modern world. The university has undertaken continuous remodeling of the curricula of the postgraduate courses on the campus in the outreach program the integration of e-networking with need-based courses will be offered to people enabling them in acquiring desired complementary information. Goa University already has a number of flagship programs which are nationally recognized. They include marine biotechnology, marine sciences, nanotechnology, clinical research, Latin American studies and so on. This will network with other centers and industries in the country. Programs have been chalked out for faculty by faculty of uh, involving Nehru Center and the Center for Study of Social Exclusion and Inclusion Policy and other departments to reach out to women and weaker sections in the society so as to empower them with relevant information, skills and support. Of course, most of these programs would require academic flexibility as well as appropriate infrastructure and administrative reforms with access to the state-of-art technologies. Goa University is poised to do so. Differences in various parameters and facilities, quantum of funding being one of the, among them, are also going to affect the quality and quantity of good education in terms of teachers and infrastructure in the whole country. It is said that one of the after effects of creation of new prestigious institutions of higher learning has been depletion of existing good faculty from various state universities due to the better offers and environment at the new setups in the country. I must state here that 
compared to the previous five years, the faculty members of Goa University have been able to attract more than double the amount of extramural funding from various central government agencies through nationwide competitions during last three years compared to the previous five years. This doesn't happen unless there is a quality and consistency in the faculty. Ladies and gentlemen, at this 23rd annual convocation of Goa University, a total of 47 students from different faculties have received their PhD degrees. 762 postgraduate students have received their master's degrees, which include 223 uh, from science, 114 from social sciences, 230 from arts and commerce, and 195 from professional streams. A total of 6,517 students have conf been conferred various undergraduate degrees and diplomas today. 54 students among them received various medals, 33 received various prizes, and 15 sc various scholarships. I wish them all success in their future life and endeavors, and urge upon them the importance to nurture and propagate the national pride and priorities at the top of their prospective agenda in the future life. I take this opportunity to express on my personal behalf and convey on behalf of all the members of this university our profuse gratitude and thanks to His Excellency Dr. Sri S. S. Siddhu, the Governor of Goa and Chancellor of Goa University, for his esteemed presence as the Chief Guest at this 23rd Convocation Ceremony of the University and for his Convocation Address to follow. Our special thanks are also due to Honorable Chief Minister and all the distinguished dignitaries in the audience who have spared their valuable time to be with us this morning. I thank members of various university bodies, all the faculty members of colleges and university departments, all our esteemed guests, and also the press and electronic media personnel for accepting our invitation to be with us this morning. Extending season's greetings and wishing you all a very prosperous and happy new year to come. I thank you all. Jai Hind. It's my privilege, sir, Your Excellency, to invite you to deliver convocation address. Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, Shri Digambar Kamat, esteemed Vice Chancellor. Professor Dalip Rivaka, distinguished members of various university bodies, deans of faculties, head of depart university departments, principals of affiliated colleges, dear students, esteemed members of the media, both press and electronic, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me and I deem it a privilege also to be amidst you at the 23rd Annual Convocation of Goa University. Convocation is both a happy and a solemn occasion. At the outset, I congratulate the students who by strenuous work and disciplined efforts have taken their degrees, won special prizes and medals by virtue of their exceptional academic performance. For all these young scholars and their proud parents, this is indeed an occasion to remember and cherish for the rest of their lives. It is my fervent hope that the education that you have received will stand you in good stead in your future endeavors and assist you to realize your full potential in your chosen professions. Friends, 
educational institutions, be it schools, colleges, or the university, have an enduring influence on the young minds. Over the period of 20 odd years, these institutions work silently to shape their lives and destinies. At a formal level, they provide education in their chosen area of specialization and prepare them for a career at a subliminal level. They leave a deep impact on the conscious, on their consciousness also. The contribution of educational institutions in shaping the inner recesses of their minds cannot be un understated. A decade later, when you students become successful professionals and ride on the crest of, of glory and achievement, you would do well to pause for a moment and hark back to those institutions that have had a definitive impact on your personality your proficiency, your strengths and weaknesses, and above all, your value systems. To my mind, the role that our institutions can play in the development of an enlightened citizenry that places a high premium on the value systems is perhaps the more important than the role they play in cultivating skilled professions. I have made a specific reference to value systems because I am increasingly perturbed at the disturbing tendency among the present day youth to chart shorter routes to success at times, even by unscrupulous means. Quest for quick material benefits and lavish lifestyles has driven many into finding quick fix solutions. Such an approach may appear lucrative and tempting in the shorter run, but the damage it may cause to the moral fabric of the nations is enormous. It is even paradoxical that while we have now begun to reap the benefits of economic prosperity on the one hand, on the other hand, a certain level of moral degradation has set in our society. There is lack of discipline, humility, lack of respect for ideals and values. I firmly believe that value-based education alone could help to stem the rot. Universities are the principal purveyors and ideals that sustain a nation in its onward march to greater glory and progress. Friends, this 23rd annual convocation comes at a time when the university has just crossed the milestone of silver jubilee of its foundation and has stepped into an era when the higher education sector is poised for dramatic changes, both in qualitative as well as quantitative terms. I acknowledge and appreciate the unprecedented changes that has been brought about in many sectors of our economy after liber liberalization. One value of liberalization is that it facilitates competition and competition brings its efficiency. We have noted how many of the dilapidated sectors of our economy sprang back to life after being injected with the liberal dose of free market economy. The automobiles, telecom, steel, informative technology and other sectors of economy, to name a few. I specifically mention the process of liberalization and its near magical effect on the modern economy because I foresee similar waves of liberal change splashing the splashing across the shores of our educational sector. Our scientists and technicians have already achieved renown in several areas. Information technology, 
the pharmaceutical sciences and the biotechnology, space and nuclear technology easily come to the mind. If we are to sustain and expand this, it's vitally important that our universities become more prolific in research and much more and on a much larger scale. At one level, of course, our university education needs to shape students who will meet the needs of a modern, rapidly growing economy and a fast-changing society. At another, we are now emerging in the forefront of innovative world and we need researchers and inventors who will create the technologies and the systems of the future. I can clearly foresee a situation when our traditional Indian universities will need to wake up to the impending competitive scenario and respond with electricity. I have no reason to believe that they will not rise to the occasion. In fact, much like our legendary Indian corporate sector that smartly turned around in the face of global competition, much to the surprise of the world, as the chancellor of this eminent university, I have been keenly following the development in the field of higher education and portents for the future. India of the new millennium is far removed from India of 70s and 80s, when many universities and institutes of higher learning and education were established, advent of science and technology, proliferation of media and communication networks, the changing global socio-economic scenario all have led to the emergence of several new areas of specialized learning. The student community today is in search of knowledge in areas of specialization and where perhaps that were perhaps unheard of two decades ago. Interestingly, on the other hand, the conventional compartmentalized learning is making way for interdisciplinary learning. Today our young students have a vast range of subjects and areas of specialization to choose from. It does not escape our attention that there is a growing tendency among today's Indian youth to relocate even abroad in search of preferred educational programs. Change is thus here to stay. Prudence demands that we anticipate change and respond to it with steadfastness of purpose. Failure to respond to the change can only lead our institutions to get mired in the time wrap and face the ignominy of ineptitude and worse irrelevance. As torchbearers of higher education, our educational institutions need to constantly reinvigorate themselves and keep abreast with the changing times and the students' aspirations. In an era of global competition, our Indian universities need to put their best foot forward from their relatively protected environments to emerge as the globally competitive entities. Goa University is no exception. Goa University must take rapid progressive strides to delivery of higher education and research through innovative programs, state-of-the-art infrastructure, well-defined plans for students' progression, collaborative initiatives and above all, through establishment of very high standards of teaching learning process. I would like to underline that Goa University has chosen, has chosen not to remain static. At a time when the education sector is infused with unprecedented dynamism, it has consciously chosen to tread the path of progression. The university has its inherent strengths 
and undisputable socio-cultural relevance. As the only university of the state, this university has its tasks clearly cut out and the primary objective is to act as a fulcrum for sustained and purposeful growth of higher education in the state. At a more holistic level, the university is expected to provide Philip to socio-cultural and economic development of the state. During the past 25 years of its existence, the university has through educational programs, research activities, uh, research activities and extension initiatives strive to fulfill the objective of its establishment. The, uh, much more area has yet to be covered. The university has emerged, empowered thousands of young students of the state from all sections of society. I must compliment for its effort to enhance the skill sets of students belonging to the marginalized groups through initiatives such as NET, Stroke Set Coaching and Civil Services Examination, coaching for students belonging to weaker sections of the society, much more has yet, of course, to be done. I feel very happy that 39 students today got the PhD. I, I believe this is the highest number achieved in any year. I compliment all of them who are the and all others who have got prizes or who have got medals, they deserve our appreciation. And this is a basically an encouragement for the next step forward. This aspect of continuous students' progression deserves utmost priority and needs to be dealt with through a series of well-defined policies and programs. It is good that Goa University has remained free from the menace of ragging, except one stray incident which has been dealt with appropriately and effectively and in a timely manner. The state-level monitoring cell constituted under my chairmanship and in various colleges and all has successfully ensured that the state has remained free from such menaces and incidents of ragging, if any noticed, are dealt with, of course, promptly and effectively. It is a matter of satisfaction that we have been able to ensure a safe educational environment for our students across the state. While there is a need to draw well-conceived plan to further strengthen the core competence of the university in the conventional areas of learning, it is also important for the university to evolve contemporary courses in domains that are particularly relevant to the socio-economic and environment scenario of Goa. In this connection, I would like to make a specific reference to two programs that are on the anvil a postgraduate MBA degree program in travel and tourism management and a five-year integrated postgraduate degree in ocean sciences and technology, while the former will supplement the tourism industry of the state, the latter will create a large pool of highly competitive and skilled oceanographers for the national task of ocean research. Goa University must come out with innovative education and research programs that meet the aspirations of our young students. It is also proposed to start BBA program degree course in culinary education, considering that it has an abundant scope for employment and the vice chancellor has promised that this will start from the next course next session next slide the university must strive to expand the ranges of certificate diploma graduate and postgraduate course on offer bearing in mind the unique geographical location of the state 
and its sociological and economic and industrial profile. Friends, great changes are taking place in the field of higher education and research, as I have already mentioned. And our university has to keep pace with global trends and standards. To this end, it is essential to make periodical assessments about systems operating in the university. In this context, I would like to inform you that I have taken an important step recently to set up a five-member academic audit committee headed by Professor Vinod Gaur, Honorary Professor of Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bangalore, with an equally eminent other four members of the intellectual world. Their larger objective of this committee is to evaluate the contribution of Goa University to the state of Goa and to suggest ways and means for the university to emerge as a strong player in the domain of knowledge production and dissemination. The report of the committee is expected by February 2011. I have no doubt that this academic audit will reflect the achievements and the inadequacies of our university and how can it better participate in the new world of knowledge production and dissemination. Before I conclude, I want to say a few words to the students who have had the good fortune to spend these important years of their lives here. You are graduating today and doing yourself, your families, your teachers and your university proud of it. You have had the privilege of a wholesome and good education. You have imbibed learning, knowledge and experience in a unique environment. No doubt you will face challenges as you make your way into the outside world. And I have no doubt that you will overcome them and find success in whatever you choose to do. Yet, as you venture out into the world at large, it's important that you keep in mind the many around you who have had, who have not had the privilege that you have enjoyed. You have been exposed to fine minds you have had access to excellent libraries. You have imbibed time-tested values. Above all, you have the opportunity to become better human beings. But your lives will not be complete if you do not reach out in whatever way you can to those less fortunate than you. As you chart your course in life, give thought to and do what you can to help those who have been less fortu fortunate and less privileged than you. I fervently hope that all the students who have graduated today will utilize their learning for a meaningful contribution to the society. Goa University has within a short period of 25 years successfully established itself as one of the premier university in this part of India. I would express my sincere and earnest hope that it will build up sound traditions of academic and intellectual excellence in keeping with our national priorities and objectives. Thank you very much. Jai. Gujarat, Maratha, Nadir, Uttal, Banga, 
ಬೃಂದ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಯಮುನಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಉತ್ಸಲ ಜಲಗಿತ ರಂಗ ಕವ ಶುಭ ನಾಮೇ ಗಾದೇ ಕವ ಶುಭ ಆಶಿಸ ಮಾಂಗೇ ಗಾಹೆ ಕವ ಜಯ ಗಾಥಾ ಜನಗಣ ಮಂಗಲ ಗಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತಾ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಜಯ ಹೇ 